we are going to discuss about the H2S very poisonous gas which is presented in the oil and gas industry before we are going to discuss about the H2S gas if you after viewing my video if you like please subscribe and share what is H2S gas and what are the different types of oil and gas industries everything we will see in a detailed manner here in first one you see two types of oil and gas industries the first one is explore and the second one is refining so what is explore what is explore so exploring is nothing but the searching the hydrocarbons which are inside the earth surface and what is refining after searching of the hydrocarbon <coughs> which are in the form of crude oil they are coming out of the earth surface with the help of pumps arrangement so we are processing it in the refineries that is what the second one refining next next we see what is h2s other names so what are the other names of h2s it is also a flammable gas which can burn after burning it can produce sulfur dioxide <coughs> And the next one is toxic gas other name is toxic gas as we know that what is toxic gas which can cause damage to our nervous system and the next one also called as killer gas it is also called as killer gas because it kills the people who are working in the h2s environment if not providing a sufficient quantity of PPE like breathing operators and also a silent killer because we didn't notice if the gas is leaking simply you are breathing breathing then you feel you feel not difficult to breathe then after few minutes you will collapse because of unconsciousness and also called as swab gas now we will see very very important one is concentration so what is the concentration levels of h2s 0 0.13 ppm what is ppm means parts per million it smells like a rotten egg so as you know that what is the smell of rotten egg if you sense the smell is coming like a rotten egg you immediately stop the operation and you have to give the horn to the people because here h2s is leaking like that around 100 next one around 100 ppm it kills sense of smell it kill sense of smell on increased concentration and the next one 100 ppm as idlh what is idlh means immediate dangerous to life and health if it is releasing 100 ppm and if it releases to 500 to 700 ppm immediately the person feels that unconsciousness he will collapse automatically if we if the people absorbing the thousand ppm death on the spot no one will take care of him he will automatically die within the spot what are the properties of h2s kill sense of smell it kill the whatever the nerves what are the sensing organs which are inside the nose and it is heavier than air because of that reason it settles on the ground and what are the density of h2s gas h2o 34 grams per mole air molecules mass is 29.32 grams per mole it is low lying area dangerous goes down basements pits swallows culverts confined space vessels pipelines tunnels columns these are the spaces where we can find this h2s gas 
so always when we are going to these areas we should have to take the permit to work because there is a chance of h2s gas may present and also some of the facts about h2s gas is it is 90 per 19 percent heavier than air and density is 1.18 grams per cubic meter and solubility h2s plus h2o gives h2so4 and don't use water in case of h2s because it can cause a chemical reaction and forms like a acid if any person working in the h2s environment if he feel not good if may he may fall down then no need to get panic but you should not give a water to him if you give water then it it forms like a chemical reaction as a acid because h2s plus uh, h2o gives chemical reaction as a acid that is what we discussed here in the last h2so4 it's a flammable gas flammable mixture h2s plus oxygen to form a sulfur dioxide blue flame gas h2s is a blue flame gas unsmooth system when blue flame from chimney what is the full form of LEL? Lower Explosive Limit. What is LEL? Lower Explosive Limit. What is LFL? Lowest Lower Flammable Limit. What is UEL? Upper Explosive Limit. What is UFL? Upper Explosive Limit. So what is LEL? Mixture is too, too lean to burn. What is lean means? You see here lean and enriched is the opposite words lean is nothing but lesser quantity enriched means more that is the quantity concentration and the next one is uel what is uel means mixture is enriched to burn here uel is mixture is enriched to burn so here you see the ranges of the lel and the uel if it is greater than 4.3 is a LEL if it is uh, 44 to 46 then it is a UEL and the flammability zone zone 0 continuous flammable zone 1 may or may not flammable zone 2 continuously safe and now we see exposure limit maximum concentration of an airborne substance reference over a period of time in which an employee can be expressed exposed by inhalation exposure limit names oel here oel wel wel rel what is oel occupation occupational exposure limit what is wel workplace exposure limit what is wel Workplace environmental exposure limit and what is real recommended exposure limit? Okay, viewers, today we are discussing this is the concept of hydrogen sulfide gas, which is also called as a killer gas, which is presented in the oil and gas industries. So, if you like my video, please subscribe and thank you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>